Let's start from the very beginning with your experiences. So how did you start to get involved in soccer? Born and raised in Iran. So soccer is a national sport there, right? Uh, you know, I would say uh, the first religion in Iran uh, would be football. Came to Canada and continued playing here. And then I kind of got onto the national program and from there got drafted. So that's kind of the whole start of the soccer. So it was in my blood, if you may, you know, it was something I grew up with. How did you begin your coaching career? I was always coaching, even when I was younger. And then when kind of was finishing my career, some somebody said, oh, do you, you know, North York Hearts is the club I played for as a kid. I went, they said, oh, they're looking for a technical director. So I went in and became a technical director. And that's how my coaching career, you know, officially started. I, I took over the Ryerson program at the time. I literally proposed to them. I, I, went, I went to watch a game and they were losing, the women's team was losing 13, nothing. So I called the AD and I said, hey, you know, I could, uh, change the program, give me the opportunity. And um, so he gave me the opportunity, brought me in, did an interview. And so a team that hadn't won a game in seven years, I'd won actually one game in seven years. Uh, my second recruiting class was in the playoffs. Um, so I know for a fact that you have, have had so much success in your coaching career. Again, how, how do we define success? That's important. My first year at Ryerson, we did win a single game. But we only had one game that was high scoring and one game and that was six nothing against one of the top teams and the rest of the games we lost by one or two goals so for those kids it's a memorable season they finished it on a strong note for them it was success the, the first team that i coached at you know you i took them over at u16 they were third last team in the division finished second in the league. For them, that was success because they didn't get relegated and they ended up winning the last bit of the season. And then, you know, following year, we went undefeated. We won everything and went to OYSL. That was success. So it's relevant to the environment you're in. So I know that you have been coached by a lot of different people with all the different teams. Um, and now in your coaching career, is there some advice that you received at some point that you keep with you and you pass on to your players? Your coaching is a reflection of you as a player. I was a hardworking player. When I look at all the coaches that, that, that were coached, I took something from every single one of them. Not all good. Some, some, some things that I noticed that I was like, I don't want to do. I don't ever want to do that. So, so it, it was a learning opportunity, regardless, good or bad. Is there any advice that you would want to give coaches? You know, the more information you get about coaching, and the more you learn about coaching, if you're honest. With yourself you realize how little you know so the quicker you check that ego curve or go through it and kind of get to where you recognize that hey the, the beauty of the game is the fact that everybody sees it differently and it's not just one way to deal with things and you know when you're in collaborative working environment with other coaches to be receptive to information then don't let your you know sort of ego get the best of you you know, from training perspective, I always had the philosophy of, you know, the, the equation, they all equal each other. How you train is how you play. How you play is how you are in life and vice versa. How you are in life is how you would train or play in a game and how you would train. So it, to me, it was all connected. Best Athletes platform, I think it provides uh, that opportunity for kids to get kind of figure out where they're at now and then set more objective goals. So. Having gone through that process, it's easier to guide kids and say, hey, you want to get here, you need to know where you're at, and then you need a plan to get there. So uh, having been through it, it's easier to now kind of explain it to, to everybody.